Good morning students. Welcome to Science Online Learning. Students, I hope you are safe at home. Dear students, today also we shall continue the difference between plants and animals. Students, animals breathe through lungs, gills or air holes. Students, animals like horses, tigers, monkeys, gorillas and frog, even human beings, they breathe through their lungs. Okay students, they breathe through their lungs. Students, fish have gills which help them to breathe in water. Okay, fish, they breathe through their gills. Students, this is the image of gills. Okay, fish, they breathe through gills. Okay, fish have gills which help them to breathe in water. Okay, students, in water, fish breathe through gills. Students, insects like ants, cockroaches, flies and butterflies, they have air holes on their bodies which help them to breathe. Okay. Insects, they breathe through air holes. Okay, students. Now, students, this is the image of gills of fish, lungs of animals, including human beings. And we already learned insects, they breathe through their air holes on their bodies. Now, students, plants, they breathe through tiny pores on their leaves. Okay? Plants, they breathe through tiny pores on their leaves. Now, next difference. Students, animals have sense organs. Okay? Animals, they have sense organs such as eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are the sense organs and animals have these organs. Students, these organs help them to know about the world around them. Okay, students, animals, they use sense organs, means sense organs will help them to know about the world around them. Sense organs, they help us to know what is happening around them. Students, plants, they do not have sense organs. Okay? Animals have sense organs, but plants, they do not have sense organs. Now, next difference between animals and plants are that, students, animals reproduce by laying eggs or by giving birth to young ones. Okay? Animals reproduce by laying eggs or by giving birth to young ones. Okay, students. Students, some animals like snake and 
animals like snakes and birds lay eggs okay students babies hatch from these eggs okay some animals like cats and cows give birth to their young ones okay snakes and birds they lay eggs and babies hatch out from these eggs okay babies hatch out from the eggs but animals such as cats cows goat sheep give birth to their young ones give birth to their babies okay students just you see the images of animals with their babies okay students this is also image of animals with their babies this is the image of puppies okay this is the image of puppies animals some animals they lay eggs and babies hatch out from the eggs and some animals they give birth to their babies students most plants produce seeds okay these seeds give rise to new plants okay students most plants produce seeds and new plants will come out from the seeds and in some cases new plants can grow from a part of the plant like stem roots or leaves okay in some cases new plants can grow from a part of the plant like stem roots or leaves okay students okay that's all for today read the lesson part nicely and learn it